Hello, my name is Dejan Nedelkovski and this is my Mechatronics final year project at the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering in Skopje. The idea of this project is to develop a device that will enable interaction of real arm movements with 3D computer models. First I will give a little introduction, then I will talk about the Arduino Mega Card, about 3D models in Simulink environment and about the development of the device. The studying of mechatronics at the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering in Skopje, which is combination of mechanical, electrical and computer engineering, enabled me to develop this device. First, I used the CAD software, that is SOLIDWORKS, to create the 3D model of the arm. Then I made an integration of different type of software, that is, I transferred the 3D model from SOLIDWORKS into MATLAB Simulink. And finally, I made integration of a software and hardware. That is, I made a connection between the Simulink and the Arduino card. The Arduino Mega card is an open source hardware which has 54 digital input out pins, of which 14 of them uh, support PVM outputs, 16 analog input pins, USB connection, and a power jack. Its operating voltage is 5 volts and the input voltage is from 7 to 12 volts. The current that flows in the input output pins is 40 milliamperes. This is the workflow of the project. First, I created the 3D model in SOLIDWORKS, then, by using the C Mechanics link, I transferred it into MATLAB into Simulink model. The 3D model is a representation of a human arm and it has 9 parts with 7 degrees of freedom. This is the workflow when using the C-Mechanics link to transfer the 3D model into Simulink model. The Simulink model is automatically generated with all the body and joint blocks. And this is the visualization of the 3D model in Simulink environment. For the development of the device, I used a simple glove, 5 potentiometers, attached to a plastic calculator cover, accelerometer, a breadboard, the Arduino Mega card and some wirings. This is how it looks the connection between the potentiometers and the Arduino card and the connection between the accelerometer and the Arduino card. Before creating the Simulink model, first I had to install the Arduino input-output package library for Simulink, which consists the blocks for communication with the Arduino card. Also, by using the Arduino software, I had to burn on the Arduino Mega card the code that is coming together with the Arduino input-output package. I organized my Simulink model into six subsystems. The first subsystem consists Arduino analog input blocks for reading the values of the potentiometers and the accelerometer. In the second subsystem, I'm doing a correction of the analog readings according to my needs. In the third subsystem, I am using a PID controller for getting smoother movements. In the fourth subsystem, I am using joint actuators blocks for driving the joints of the 3D model. The fifth subsystem is the 3D model, which was automatically generated and consists body and joint blocks. In the last subsystem, I am using joint sensors to track the current position of the 3D model and sending these signals into the PID controller. Here's the final appearance of the device and video for demonstrating its work.